Hello everybody, Swift here again with another Backpack Battles one, the best inventory management auto butler out there and today we're gonna be playing with the Berserker which has also their own unique items and their also you know, unique playstyle and what is the playstyle? That is forging! They have forging. So this is, first of all, his passive, which is the duffel bag, is health drops below. When the health drops below 50%, enter a battle rage for 5 seconds, that's only possible once, and during the battle rage, items inside trigger 30% faster, and you take 20% reduced damage. And the item we have starting with is a unique item that we only have access to, forging hammer. Deals 1 additional damage per empower, so we want to go into empower if possible, and empower gives plus 1 damage to the weapons in general. And we also got our first crafting here, which is the leather armor, which I'm gonna buy right away. So we can craft the dragon scale armor, and I'm gonna also buy a banana, because uh, we're gonna combo that into energy gain, as we will definitely have energy issues. Let's roll here. My weapon right now is this hammer, which has a DPS of 1, not really that much. Let's get a leather bag, I guess, and uh, let's go these to combine. I don't know what exactly is gonna combine into all the things. I, I should be checking with the hammer all the time what might happen. Okay, we should be theoretically winning this because I have triple life. How slowly does this thing attack? Every 3.5 seconds. Okay, we should theoretically lose this unless we somehow win through... Oh, they blocked. Nice. Uh, we win through fatigue. And uh, fatigue just sets in. So right now we have the same amount of health, we hit them for 5, nice. And Fatigue, and I just got Battle Rage, we won, let's go. Let's go, and I got... I got Dragon Scale Armor. So, when Battle Rage is entered, I gain 40 shielding. And during Battle Rage, I reduce damage taken by another 15%. Always check this. I would say I want another banana, by the way. Uh, yeah, I would like to say yes to another banana. I'm gonna use all of these at some point. I would also like to get a piggy bank. Roll them. I need to check what this thing can upgrade. And right now we don't have weapons. Uh, we're gonna go fanny pack. Let's also put some attack speed on this. Why not? Have the bananas inside the zone. And uh, let's go. Let's go. Nothing here is upgradable. Maybe I should. Uh, I know what I want to get, by the way. I know exactly which weapon I want to get. Uh, now, this time we're gonna activate the 40 shielding after we hit half health, which the banana might keep us above. Come on. Ah, oh, it triggered a bit too early. Which is not that good because now we have the battle rage already wasted. And now fatigue sets in. Although we're still winning the shielding fight. And also we have healing, which they don't. And uh, it's a race. And we won. Slow and steady wins the race, man. Slow and steady wins the race. Okay, we got another dragon scale armor, which I'm gonna take. I do want to get this damage taken is reduced by 3%. Let's roll them. No banana inventory space. I would say let's get that and let's continue on. A lot of shielding and defensive play is what we're gonna play here. And it's a poison build. This should completely destroy us, to be honest. We should be completely countered here. But we're gonna see. We also start with shielding now and then I got another shielding later. Although it's better to play with the bananas and try to play low life. Uh, let's see how this guy go. Once again, fatigue is how we're gonna win. Otherwise, there is no real chance of getting through this, and fatigue's already setting it, but we're low than less than half health, and we also have 10 poison. I think this is the first time we lose. Nice. Fair enough. Uh, we don't have a weapon, to be honest, so super fair enough. Uh, let's take this. I found mana, but I don't think we will need mana. Let's roll them. I found customer card. We're gonna buy the customer card because it's cheap right now. Uh, the idea being I want to get uh, higher level items fast. I found a piggy bank cheap too, so we're gonna buy that too. And uh, now we have two dragon scale armors, which don't really do anything. <laughs> So one can only hope. We're gonna lose this fight, guaranteed. I, I would assume we should lose this fight, guaranteed, because I only have a flying hammer. It would be nice if I didn't fight against poison opponents, to be honest. Anything else over poison, we could have maybe won. Now, at least now we don't start with the dragon scale armor popping right away. So if we get to half health when fatigue hits, we're gonna have uh, 3D and another 3D, 60% is damage taken for uh, 5 seconds. So that maybe can keep us alive. Plus 80 shielding, of course. And the attack speed gain. And uh, now we hope for fatigue to somehow save us, which actually worked out nice. Battle Rage is actually work. Oh, we died. It's a draw, obviously. The draws are always wins in this game. Uh, we got a cap of resilience with an anti-buff. No, I would also like to always check this. Uh, another banana. Mm, I'm gonna say no to another banana. Let's actually start rolling to get what we want. Oh, we found another one of these. You know what? I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it. This gives us shielding, stamina, or... No, no, no. We're, we're, we're continuing with the stupid plan. With obviously the stupid blank being we get 50,000 of those armor pieces. I literally don't have enough room. Uh, we buy this. Shieldy boy. I found a dagger. Uh, I would like to get this thing. Or inventory space, which we have issues with. I found a weapon though. I found a weapon. This is not the weapon of choice, but I did find a weapon at least that we can use here. 
Um, and I can also theoretically buy the dagger to use the dagger. Now let's get the Ripsaw Blade, which is anti-spikes and anti-region. And we will lose money on the transition here. But at least it's gonna carry us for a couple of fights. I would say we want money over the card. And let's go. Now this here is gonna obviously shield us right away, which is not exactly what we would like to do. But it's okay, it's gonna delay how fast we get the Battle Rage. Oh, we're winning with Fatigue and Battle Rage right now. <laughs> the stupid way, let's do it. Still haven't found any Empower whatsoever. But it's gonna happen slowly and surely, but surely. Slowly and surely, but surely, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. I have my triple shielding defensive thing to play. Now with that health and Fatigue kicking in, this is where we shine. And uh, yeah, we hope for... Fa no, Fatigue's not gonna save us. <laughs> not this time, not this time. I mean, opponents are doing more damage than what we do. Down to three health. And now the run begins, I would say. Because now I do have actually a weapon, which is the Ripsaw Blade. And also, let's get attack speed. I could have gone for Vampires, but no. Uh, let's put the Ripsaw Blade here. And uh, honestly, let's roll with it. I don't have money to roll anyway. Uh, the Hammer doesn't do that much. I prefer going with a Banana, I would say. Yeah, let's go with Double Bananas over the Hammer. Uh, can I reorganize in a way where... I think I can reorganize in a way where... I didn't even say a sentence, by the way. Uh, let's go with something like this. Actually, give me a reorganize time. Not the perfect reorganize, but it's okay. Let's go. So right now we have a triple dragon scale armor protecting us. Oh, you know what? I want this. I want the box of riches. Guaranteed I want the box of riches because I know what the build is going to be. Let's go. These have a lot of inventory spots. We will fill pretty much everything up with 50,000 gemstones with gemstone build. We will be a gemstone build. Now we have Ripsaw Blade, so now we do have a weapon that does damage. And now this is an actual race, which we will definitely win, because we have triple 120 shielding and now we're super duper defensive. This is 45% less damage taken from these three, plus even more from the backpack. Oh yeah, we are a super defensive build. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Off we go. And we buy the gemstone guaranteed, and throw it in while we're rolling, alongside this thing. Uh, we found the Torquilla. I'm gonna buy the inventory space, though. And now this can join. Uh, this does not power everything up. I'm, I'm not gonna get the Torquilla. I don't need that. Let's roll them. And we found a Wolpen Tiger, which is really good. This is energy fixing and mana buffing. Uh, and I found the thing I actually want, which is Heroic Potion, which gives us stamina and empower. This is a guaranteed take. Uh, I also found a Lifesteal or amp Heal Amplification. Uh, I would like to start buying stuff, so let's put the lifestyle on this and it's gone. I'm not gonna buy the Wolpen Tiger. Even if I have energy issues, we're gonna buy so many heroic potions that I don't think we will need this. This gives us three buffs we have the least of. Now nah, let's go with what we have. Wait. Over shopping. This, by the way, gives us a free gemstone, which is pretty important. You go down here and you guys go up there. And let's go. The idea being that I want to do a gemstone build. Plus energy, of course. We do have issues right now. I need, like, one big room for the potions, which is gonna be somewhere here or here, and then one room for the actual weapon, which is gonna obviously be the rips over the ripsaw blade. And then we need just a bunch of passives. And we're about to hit the boom. Yes, now we take, once again, 45 and 30. That is 75% um, damage, and the opponent's gone. And I got the subclass. And the subclass I'm gonna go with... We have the following choices real quick. We got the brass knuckle, which is a weapon. It has a chance to stun opponents and also gives accuracy and crit chance to my other weapons. Also, when we go battle rage, this triggers faster. We got Deadwood Guardian, which is damage is reduced by 10%, flat forever, and the battle rage lasts longer for each nature item you have. And also on battle rage, you heal and gain two mana every second. That's actually good in general. I think these... No, these are not nature items. Not for us. Anvil, which is items crafted generate the flame, and then for each crafted item, the weapon gets plus two damage and uses 5% of the stamina. Really good. We got Wolf and Emblem, which allows us to get Wolf Companions on the shop. And then also when I have 5 Empower, we have a chance to resist buffs. And then this is the one I'm actually going to take, Shaman Mask. Runes are off there in the shop, which are something like Super Gems. And then at the start of battle, gain 1 luck for each gemstone you have socketed. That's why I got the Box Riches. And then also, every 3 seconds, use 2 luck to gain 5 random buffs. And those 5 random buffs obviously can become anything. Uh, we found another Empower. Um, actually, that's the Heroic Potion. We found another... Vampirism. I don't want to combo them yet. Uh, this definitely joins. And I'm also inclined to say this stays here for the time being. I would like to buy this. What is this? Every five mana gain, gain two spikes. I, I would say no to that. Let's roll them. 
Uh, this is a powered up bubble, by the way. We can craft this. So I will craft that. We found a new crafting boy. I found also the potion belt, which we definitely buy for room. I want this. Uh, potion belt says uh, the first potion activated gives you a random buff. So might as well do that. I'm going to combo the bananas. I don't want the bananas. I'm mostly going to be a burst build. Uh, I do want to buy... Yeah, I cannot really buy the boots. I do want to buy them in general, though, so we're going to keep them as is. And I don't care about healing potions, although they trigger at half health, so that's pretty much helping you with how you're supposed to work with the character, but nah, let's go. Let's go. We have time to buy stuff. We got time. Okay, so once again, we got Ripsaw Blade here. We should have this easily. This They don't have spikes, obviously. As long as I can maintain my health above a line, the moment we hit half health, we obviously win. So we need to maintain the health high. We are getting poisoned a bit too much. Um, yeah, and now we just trigger it our shielding in the fatigue zone. The shielding is gone about uh, now. Yep, that shielding is gone. But we already won. Very nice. Battle Rage is very cool, uh, design-wise. I enjoy this character very much. It's chill, and it's exactly how I play the games in general. And we found the powered-up version of this. So this is now four stamina when it pops and also gives us the shielding. And the... Uh, uh, not shielding. Empower. And we got Chip Dramathist. Might as well put it here, I guess. Uh, yeah, this is a 20% chance to remove a buff from the opponent. We're also gonna go Lifesteal. Opponent's healing is reduced is actually what we're gonna go with. And I'm gonna say we also go even more Lifesteal on this one. It's just luckily it's all done. I don't want any of these to get combined. Uh, I will definitely buy this. So we get Dragon Skin Boots. This can join and let's roll into my weapon of choice. We found another energy potion, which I definitely want to buy. Uh, I, I, that's exactly what I want, actually. I want the heroic potions. I don't want bananas. And we found another one, but this is, in my opinion, the worst one. Uh, every five mana again. I'm not gaining mana. I'm not going to be freezing or whatnot. Yeah, now we're going to continue rolling through this. And we found another backpack that's worth it. And we found another box of riches that's going to give us random things that I can throw in. And this only costs three, so I would say I want to buy that. I want to buy both of these. And I also want to buy this and put the potions on the left side. So we buy this and this and this joins as is. And uh, it's definitely better than the piggy bank because getting a gemstone randomly is better than getting a coin. And this should now give us four luck because we have four gemstones socketed in. And we're going to buy both of these next turn and we're going to continue. One item in storage. Oh, that was just an information. Okay, good to know. We can't really do anything with it. Let's go. Okay, oh, this is the new Mega Clover. Generate two lucky clovers on shop enters. Say, I want that as a build. I want to play that as a build. Anyway, uh, let's see how this is going to go. Now, they have luck will, so that means crits. And once again, as long as I can maintain my health above... Look at the arrow shots. 888, 888, 66, 66. It's uh, super awesome that they're synchronized. Yeah, and now I just hit my... At half health, uh, we become damage immune. And we won. Easy enough. And we also heal a lot. Very nice. And we got one of the more important things. First of all, I got the Dragon Skin Boots. 25% chance to resist ice. Irrelevant. When we get to Battle Rage, we cleanse three random debuffs and gain one in power and eight shielding. That's nice. And I also found Battle Rage lasts two seconds longer. This is by far the best thing for us. Uh, we're gonna go here. We're gonna transfer the potions over to the other side and side flip it. Uh, I'm gonna say Spike the Color definitely joins. Battle Rage is the best in slot thing. But I want to empower this thing first to get rid of the banana. That's what I'm thinking. So let's get rid of the banana real quick. I don't want another one of these. Although they could make us damage immune, right? Three of three times 15% less damage taken is 60% uh, damage taken. And the backpack already gives us 30. Yeah. Yeah. 20. 20. So we are at... Right now we're at 45. Right now we're at 65. So if I take this, we go up to 80. I don't want that though. Let's go here. Uh, does the pig bang even fit? Yes, it does. Chipped Amethyst. Opponent's healing is reduced. We throw these in without combining them, man. Opponent healing is reduced. Just straight up. Opponent healing is reduced. Opponent's healing is reduced. Uh, actually, my healing is increased. And opponents have a 50% chance to lose a buff. 20% chance to remove a buff. Yep, that's nice. I think we're good here. Uh, Yeah, I think we're good. And I'm gonna buy the Spike Color next turn. Let's go. Next turn. Nice. Okay, this is a shieldy boy. I don't think they're gonna survive. We're gonna also get rid of the old region. I still have not found the weapon of choice, by the way. We will hopefully find it. Let's go. Uh, yeah, as long as I don't lose half my life, we win, as I said previously. They are getting shielding, but that's irrelevant when we hit fatigue and we power up. We're about to power up. Look at how many buffs we have, by the way. This thing giving us uh, five random buffs can give us luck, so it can loop in itself. And now I'm powered up and they cannot damage us anymore. And they're gone. Easy enough. Easy enough. 
And we found the weapon of choice. And we found the weapon of choice, which is this one, because it can get crafted. So this thing says, while you have at least five on power, decrease stamina usage to three and cooldown to three. That is irrelevant to us. We care about its level up version. So we're gonna throw away the Ripsaw Blade, as that is irrelevant now. And this joins the fight. So we're gonna go, you're gone. Five coins. Uh, you join. Whoop. The biggest sword in the town. Okay, and you go here, and now this becomes a busted blade. Not yet ready. And we also get a spike color, because why not? Which, once again, says battle rage lasts two seconds longer. And we're also gonna buy another leather boot to get another dragon skin boot to cleanse three random debuffs and gain one empower and eight shielding when we get there. Uh, what is this? The ice version, I don't care about that. So, uh, this is opponent's heal less. This is 10% special attack speed, that goes here. By the way, this is now in the backpack 10% more stamina regen, which is awesome. Uh, lifesteal. Can this combo with something? No. Uh, lifesteal on this, 15%. Another 15% lifesteal, and I would say another 10% lifesteal. Knock all these down. I want to get as many gems as possible, so this starts powerful. So, we might be lucky enough, and this used two mana... This, uh, every three seconds used two luck to gain five buffs, might roll into two luck, and then three empower. And if that rolls three times, the exact same amount I just said, we might get exactly what we want. Okay, now this is useless. Uh, the customer card has become useless. As I no longer care about higher level stuff. I only care about the Greatsword. By the way, if I run out of energy because the Greatsword spends 5 energy on hit, well, guess what? We have 2 times Heroic Potion. So these are gonna pop and we're gonna get 3 energy. Uh, 3 in power. 1 from this and 2 from this because this is gonna fire twice. Uh, I think that's it. I don't really need this at all. Also, selling it doesn't help us. Yeah, I'm gonna sell it. Let's go. Uh, do I want this 3% chance to attack health directly and gain 1 luck, 1 mana and <laughs> freeze the opponent by 1? I don't really care about this, no. Like, no, we're not gonna... No. In general, I put that on this because I want to do a health piercing, but I don't even want to do health piercing because I want to force us... Force the opponent to survive a bit more. Like, I'm, I'm playing on purpose, sandbaggy. Because we're gonna be piercing anyway. No more fire. Boom, 46 damage. I got 5 in power, so this is now powered up. Go. This spends 3 energy every time it attacks. 3, go. Boom, 50. One more hit and you're gone. Up, energy out, and go. Boom, seven in power, by the way. Nine in power. Let's go. I still, I never entered battle rage, by the way. <laughs> I never entered battle rage. <laughs> insane. And this got a busted blade, and it's insanely huge. We don't have room for this. Uh, I guess potion belt here. It's not helpful. Or here. Yeah, and you go up, and you go like that. And this is even more attack speed. Busted Blade! And what does this thing do? This thing is... Deals plus 3 damage per Empower. I'm assuming that Empower gives another one. So this is plus 4 damage per Empower, right? And then, during Battle Rage, decrease stamina usage 2-3 and cooldown 2-3. So now, instead of it happening when I hit 5 Empower, it happens when I hit Battle Rage. Which the Battle Rage lasts for 7 seconds. Uh, Lifesteal. Lifesteal. Lifesteal, uh, 10% chance to resist poison. After 6 seconds, gain 1 empower. Let's go with 10% chance to resist poison. And, uh, 10% attack speed. 10% chance to resist stun, 4% chance to prevent the hit from being a crit. On the, and no, no, we're gonna go attack speed and attack speed. And we still have the energy potions here. And we're obviously gonna get now in our dragon skin boots, which, which becomes a dragon scale boots, which gives us empower and shielding. Uh, let's roll. Do I want this, by the way? Randomly gain 1 empower or 3 mana. And remove 2 mana from the opponent, or take 1 stamina wait, Nah, let's go. I found even more lifesteal, we're gonna put that in here. So we have even, 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 even more lifesteal. Uh, this is a potion that after 20 debuffs cleanses 10 of them, not really. Oh, we got the chance to pierce health, 70% chance. Or when I gain mana. I don't even gain mana, by the way. Wait, this... Oh, this is craftable. Oh, we're gonna craft this. And we're gonna also get this. Yeah, I don't care about this specific one. This is the one I don't care about. Because I don't generate mana for the shielding thing, I do, and I also don't care about piercing opponent's health. Although I should, although I should be caring about piercing opponent's health, I don't. Fire build with the dragon version. Let's see how this guy go. Oh, we're dying. Whoop. Big smack there and big heal. Big smack, big smack, go. Whoop, I'm empowered. Let's go. Fire, fire, fire. Boom. One more and you're gone, man. One more and you're gone. Boom, gone. And I'm full life. Easy enough. Let's continue. Okay, we got another healing one, and we also got another one of these. So, at, uh, first of all, resisting ice is really good for us, and then battle rage enter it, cleanse three debuffs is also really good for us. Uh, I want this because inventory management is an issue right now. Uh, I would say this goes here. 
Uh, okay, I need you to go out. And then you go up. And this can go up here or whatever. And the boots can go up there with it. And you're gonna now get crafted. The attack speed should be hitting here. So let's hit these. Nice. And we got a 20% lifesteal or 20% healing amplification. Both of those are good. I'm gonna go with the lifesteal and the healing amp should go somewhere else. A chance to resist poison. And uh, the one thing I don't care about. Let's roll him. Attack speed or energy regen. Now let's put this here so it's chance to resist stun and whatnot. And more attack speed. I would like this on this. Like the attack speed I think should be on this line. Here. I don't have anything that casts though. Ah, you know what? This has attack speed issues. Do I care about that honestly? I don't think I really really care about the attack speed. What I do care about a bit more, let's craft this here, uh, is uh, getting, first of all, value for money inventory space. So that's the squares. And secondly, I care a bit more about getting spiked colors. <clears throat> Empowering, no, no. By the way, where are these? The runes are offered in the shop. Where are the runes, man? Still haven't found a single one. This is craftable, right? The helmet is not craftable. Okay, I thought the helmet was craftable. Well, it is what it is. Let's uh, roll away. And we found... No, that's useless for us. On cheese. Uh, every four seconds gain 10 maximum health and, ran and a random buff. Okay. Or your opponent's healing is reduced, you know? And chance to remove it. You know, 25% healing reduced. And I already have 15, 15... So right now I have 45% healing reduced. This is flat, by the way. We have checked that a lot of times. So if I can bring the opponent's healing to zero, we're not even going to lose from phoenixes. Uh, let's go on. I mean, this fits right here. So this is a value for money inventory space management play. I should have locked this down. I can still lock this down. Let's see how this goes. Okay, they have shielding, whatever. Boom, I'm full health. I just popped both potions at the same time. I have energy issues. Wait, why do I have energy issues? Whoop, empower is up. Fire. Let's go again. Fire. And you're gone. And you're gone. How much damage is this thing doing? 86 to 96. Let's go. We can't crit, by the way. And we found another collar. Very nice. What does this do? 10% uh, chance to resist poison and during battle rage, items trigger faster. <laughs> we found another one of those. Um, I guess we throw them anywhere and resist poison time. Okay, we definitely go with opponents heal less. So I don't care about the ice anymore. I'm gonna sell things I don't care about. Uh, let's buy this. I'm thinking about not buying that. I think I'm thinking about buying the energy one. Chance to remove opponent's buff. Yeah, 3% less healing. We take this and we go for the anti-healing. Uh, this can go here, for example. So right now the opponents are healing 30% less and 25% less. That is 55% less. And then another 45% less from these three. It's gone. Opponents cannot heal anymore. Opponents are unable to heal completely. So only we heal. The opponents are unable to heal. If, uh, if they don't do anything to counter that. I mean, this guy doesn't even have healing. But his health is going to stick at 170, you're going to see now. And if I now had piercing, for example, which I'm not taking on purpose, uh, the opponent could literally, they just had 203 life and that's it. Shielding is irrelevant and healing would also be relevant. Yeah, you see it's plus zero, plus zero, their, their health is stuck. And I just activated my empowerment. Yeah, I have 13 empower, man. 13 empower and still had 10 luck, so this was still firing, giving us even more buffs. 102 to 112 damage. And once again, don't forget that I am empowered with a battle rage, right? I have battle rage for five, which is the baseline number, right? Five. Uh, I can't even see it. It's right here. So this is, yeah, five seconds plus two plus two. That's nine seconds of 20% plus 45%. That's 55% less damage taken for nine seconds. One our heroic potion. Very nice. I want that, obviously. Energy issue is a thing. Uh, energy regen... Uh, yeah, you know what? These are just gonna go in the backpack and sit as energy region, is what I'm thinking here. Uh, we found another one of these for the damage immunity. We're gonna buy this for sure. You can leave, most likely. Uh, do they fit anywhere? They don't fit anywhere. Yeah, they're gonna go in the backpack for the 10% increased stamina speed. But, I want to also start combining them. So I think the time has come to start combining gems. Uh, let's, let's, uh, let's combo the poison ones, as they are useless. And, uh, let's roll into inventory space. Found one, and I found another one of the leather boots, which I want to get. These leather boots are good. Cleansing three debuffs and giving us one empower is really nice. Go here and buy this. Roll them. 
And I found Wolpen Tiger, which is if you have a bunch of buffs, you get a bunch of energy regen, which is the best energy regen item in the game. I found a second greatsword, but I don't want it. And I found another healing prevention thing. So I'm going to say uh, we, we have four more turns. We have time for all of that. What I'm going to do. Uh, let's combo two of these. I haven't found a single rune, by the way. A single rune has not been found. Uh, yeah, let's also combo the, these uh, 20 percenters. Is there any reason to do that, actually? I think I should combine other stuff. Like, let's say we combine the healing ones. Yeah, let's combine the mediocre healing ones. Nice. Two flood rubies are gonna combine. Uh, maybe I should even combine even more if I can do so. The purples are the only ones I don't want to combine, by the way. Greens are here. Yeah, you can see how many of each you have. No, I don't want to do the purples. The reds I can combine. Hey, maybe even more yellow should combine. Oh, they're already decided to combine. Yeah. They also combine these ones. Mm, because I'm thinking that we buy this and two more are gonna pop anyway. Yeah, let's go with that. So, flip these. And you are gonna combine also. Nice. And uh, I would like to also craft this up. So I would say, for one fight, we're not gonna have the Dragon Swing Boots. I'm gonna have... Uh, we're not gonna have... Yeah, we're not gonna have the Dragon Skin Boots. We're gonna have the normal boots. And this still stays. Opponents can no longer heal. Uh, I still start believing that I should go with piercing shielding. No, 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 no. The idea why I'm not using the shield piercer is specifically for the fact... This here is useless. Uh, the reason why I'm not... Uh, yeah, it's specifically for the fact that I want the opponents to survive more. <laughs> That's it. That's the idea. It's a stupid idea, but I'm having fun with it. Two items of storage. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. Oh, it's the same with us. And this guy is removing buffs. That might kill us. So he just took away a bunch of luck from us. He's taking away my buffs. That's pretty bad. 70 damage. And we have 6 in power, though. He just popped first. Now I popped. Let's see who's better. Let's see who's more powerful. You cannot heal, my boy. You cannot heal. You're gone. Easy enough. Easy enough. So they were using the chain whip, which says deal plus 1 damage for each buff you remove from the opponent, and on hit, remove 2 random buffs from the opponent. And battle rage also additionally heals for 8. Yeah, whatever. And they had a bunch of pets because they played the pets build. They uh, chose... Uh, where's the thing? Here it is. Wolf Emblem. Wolf Companions are offered in the shop, and if you have at least 5 in power, you have 30% chance to resist. Yeah, you had a bunch of power, but we also had a million damage. Okay. Nice, a bunch of combos happened, and we got a... Yeah, this is, this was the level up. That was not a combo. We also got the item here. We got the piercing. Okay, Wolf and Tiger is gonna get bought right away. I would say we buy inventory space, because that's the main issue we have. And we're gonna buy that later. Actually, I don't care. I really don't care about the piercing thing. The man I'm piercing. Chip emerald. Yeah. Uh, Wolpen tiger is gonna go... Oh, these can go to one spot to the left. And I can fit the Wolpen tiger. Boom. Boom. And it goes here. And it goes right here. Wolp Wolper tiger. So this thing, as I said, gives us mana region for each buff we have. And because we have heavy buffs, we're gonna have a lot of energy region. Uh, definitely want the opponents to be healing less. Definitely want to put the boots in. Uh, we have two more, three more rounds to survive. Most likely, the piggy bank is not gonna join. Boots and another boots. And, uh... Well, this goes here. This goes here and combos. I want them to combo, man. I want to sell this. How much money do you have? Two coins. Okay, sell this. And sell this. And buy this. Your opponent healing is reduced. How much have we reduced the healing at this point? Once again, this is 45. These three are 45. And, uh... These two are another... F yeah, and this is another 3D25. Yeah, we're done, actually. So, this does not need to be in the healing zone. It can be on the cleanse debuffs. Uh, duty. And luck, I guess, this this doesn't really fit anywhere. And not in comparison to the other we have. I could make this... Oh, you know what? I don't want to combo these. I could combo these. They would become the 3D%. I don't think it's worth it to get the 30% twice. I mean, twice is 60%, and then we have only two of these. We could also combine these. But I'm, 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 I'm falling behind on inventory space management, so I want to have as many sockets anywhere, everywhere as possible, because this gives us more luck per socket, so we need to have random sockets. Let's go. He says we're literally just selling a thing. Once again, we have nine seconds of damage immunity, almost. Oh no, it's a crit build. I'm still alive. And now he popped us. And now we pop back. Yeah, you're not gonna kill us while we are in this mode. And one more hit and you're gone. <laughs> and guess what? You cannot heal and we have spikes. <laughs> they can literally not heal, by the way. Literally unhealable. Heal, nothing. 
Like they, they healed for nothing. They had Yggdrasil Relief, leave, man. They had they had this thing which says every time you use buffs, you heal for five and cleanse things. And that thing healed them for nothing. Seven healing. It's literally bananas. They had two bananas and they healed them for three and two. And the bananas normally heal for four. So um, yeah, we destroyed them. What's my damage, by the way? 357. Okay, let's go. Uh, we found even more attack speed. Uh, I think I have... I think I should buy that. And I should put it here. Do I have a single spotter? I have it at the top left corner. I'm thinking how I could fit this attack speed in. It should go here, by the way. I have energy issues, man. Well, this is energy regen. Here you go. And Wolpen Tiger is supposed to fix my energy issues, too. Whoop, you go here. And uh, let's get attack speed. It's gonna go here when I get a second one. And it's gonna be a piggy bank, because why not? Uh, healing is reduced again. Mm, time to combo them, then. Time to combine them. Yeah, let's take this. Flip these. And combine these. Nice. And we don't need any of these. Energy is also relevant. I mean, I could get a banana to power up this heroic potion, but nah, I don't have that much room. Lightsaber, okay. Regen. Regen, and I get to empower after I hit 7 regen. Not really. Found a room. And found energy. Max energy. Uh, these don't all fit. This fits. We found the unique weapon of the character, by the way. Axe. We have 8 coins. We can buy all of these. Let's buy all of these. Uh, this should actually go down here. I think the potion belt at the top is whatever. And yeah, we should sell this. Uh, this goes here. I'm gonna sell this. This is useless. Roll them. And we found our collar. Very nice. And do we have inventory? Nope. I would like to combine these. Because I'm gonna, e gonna get even more of these, by the way. Give us 10% standard region on the backpack. They buff those. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna buy a collar next. I have four coins. Should I sell something for the collar? I don't think so. This should go in the attack speed zone. I'm just waiting for one more attack speed fanny pack. And to put it up to 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 put them in this line in these two lines. I don't think I have another fanny pack anywhere. I don't think I can check either real quick. By the way, you can do this now. Oh, this uh, lights them up in a way where I can actually see the backpacks. Nope, that's not it. Here we go. Uh, let's go. Let's go. We're winning all of these fights. And also when I hit the empower thing, that's when we break everything. We're waiting luck. Let's start gaining some buffs. I have 17 luck now to empower. Oh no, we're losing life. Oh no, what shall I do? Oh no, I still have not popped the empower, by the way. Uh, now I popped it. Let's go. You're gone. <laughs> let's go. Boom. And we haven't even eaten all the potions yet. Easy. 90 to 100 damage. Do they heal? Have oh they do heal. Okay, okay. I uh, I overestimated how much I heal. I take I eat the heal away. We find another heroic potion. At this point, I don't need it though. Uh, anti healing, obviously. Uh, this is twenty percent anti healing. Yeah, I mean at this point it's uh, this is the final round, so there is no reason for me to buy random stuff I don't care about. Let's go anti healing one last time. Let's go here. I uh, should have combined some things here, but it's okay. Poison resistance. Uh, yeah, let's switch it for the anti-stun to make it stamina region. I don't care about those. We have so much stamina region. Oh, we found a 25% healing. And we also found a four, 10 max life every 4 seconds. And we found a goober that combines with that right away. Uh, we also found this. Uh, I'm gonna say we just get the 25% lifesteal. Oh, we have so much lifesteal already. Uh, let's go with that. Instead of going with anti-poison, we're gonna go with amplify my healing by 25%. Uh, maybe that's how they survived. Maybe they had Amplify Healing. That's most likely the case, actually. So going even deeper into anti-healing is the play to counter everything. I don't... I'm, I'm trying to find inventory space. Found it, but this is better. We're gonna go with the Spike Color for even more seconds of immunity. So this gives us one region after six seconds. I don't care about that. Also, Gemstones are useless now because we're pretty much done. Uh, Piggy Bank is guaranteed useless. Uh, gemstone Finding is also useless. Let's buy this. And uh, once again, gemstone finding is useless, but I can buy this thing, which is amplify healing, better than not getting poisoned. Uh, I guess I'm gonna sell this. I found another fanny pack, and I cannot buy it. And more specifically, I can put it here. No, I misclicked. It should go here. 
and then you go here, and now this thing has insane attack speed. This is useless. We have inventory space anyway. Why, and I found my first rune! Let's go, boys! I mean, it seems like the runes were not appearing because I had the gemstone thing. So that's extremely bad. Uh, let me read through the runes. I cannot buy this now, by the way. So this is increased crit chance by 15% and crit damage by 15%, which is the main rune I wanted to get. Let me show you the runes, just so that you guys can see them. So these three are the runes. So increased crit chance by 15% and crit damage by 15%. Or in armor, you do not get blinded, which I don't care about. Or uh, on the backpack, you inflict blind after four seconds. So this is only good on the weapon. Then we got Elephant Rune, which is on hit, chance to stun, which is a bit irrelevant. A start of battle, 40% chance to resist debuffs for four seconds. So this is completely anti-poison. If I had three of these, then any poison build that bursts you down instantly does nothing against us. So this is very powerful in general. And in the backpack, 40 max life, which is also really powerful. And then we got Badger Rune, which is on the weapon, begets the ability that every hit it does, it gets 3% attack speed. So that's the Crossblade ability. The Crossblades has that. Um, which I'm, I'm going to show you in a moment. And then the other two choices are Battle Rage, reduce damage taken by 7. If you have that on the armor socket, that's also very powerful. Imagine having 3 or 4 of these. You instantly take like minus 3 damage. You take no damage at all while you're in Battle Rage. And then a backpack, it's item, use 10% less stamina, which is also really powerful because if you have 5 or 6 of them, your weapons don't use anything. So that's what I wanted to actually get. But I was not aware that you don't find these while you have the gemstone thingy. Let me actually also showcase the crossblade, uh, just because, here why not, the crossblades is this thing, I can just press cross. Did they remove the crossblades? What? Is the crossblades? Oh, here it is. So this is uh, on hit, gain 1 damage and 3% attack speed. And uh, that rune there is literally, you know, the, the rune is literally just, wait, it's a gated item. The rune is literally gain 3% attack speed on hit. So I would like to do a build with these three, by the way. Uh, I did not know that you do not get them when you play with gemstones. Now I know, okay? Now I know. So I might play this guy again, not next run, but at some point I'm gonna play this again with the Shaman Mask, and we're gonna just have 50,000 wounds before they nerf them because they're very powerful. So in case you want to follow along, you just buy a bunch of Hawk runes and put them on the weapon, then you just buy a bunch of Elephant runes and put them on the backpack, uh, actually, the elephant runes should three in the armor slots and then the rest in the backpack. And then you'd also buy a bunch of badger runes. And uh, I would say you put two or three in your armor sockets and then the rest in the backpack. So uh, that's how I would play it. Let's do this and let's destroy the next opponent because this is a guaranteed win. We are completely busted and it's the same with us. So that's a bit unlucky. Now, my battle rage lasts 11 seconds. Your battle rage lasts 7 seconds. That alone is gonna give us a win. They are playing the same build with us, by the way. They do have a bunch of elephant runes. Uh, yeah, they do actually play the same build with us. I guess they realize that you get elephant runes faster than us. Why is this lagging? I'm waiting for the smack is incoming. I kaboom! 72 damage. They are drunk their energy already. This thing, by the way, says that gains two damage every time they attack. Whoop! I triggered first? Oh no. Now they also trigger it. Well, it doesn't matter because at the end of the day, I have a better... I, I have a lot better battle rage than they do. We have three shields. They have only one. And, uh... Yeah, they already run out of energy. We don't even have energy issues. 57! Yeah, you're about to go down, my dude. Next hit is in three. Two, one, kaboom. And they were healing nothing. We made them unable to heal. Yep, healing zero. <laughs> nothing. They healed nothing at all. Uh, and they had eight region, by the way. So they literally were unable to heal. 323 uh, combat log. Uh, they healed nothing. Uh, damage dealt. They did 200 something to us. We did three something to them. They had a double axe as the main weapon. We had a busted blade. And the busted blade at the end was doing 82 to 92. So we had the most powerful weapon a bit earlier. They were doing poison on us. When did you poison us? Oh, they had a poison dagger. Ah, okay. And they also had a Heart of Darkness stealing buffs from us. Aha. Uh -huh. They had a very weak build. But it is what it is. We're still in bronze or silver or whatever, so it makes sense. I did enjoy this. How often did this attack? Every two seconds. This had 42 DPS. Very sizable. And also, once again, we are super immune to everything because of the um, 60, 75, whatever the chance was, less damage taken. And also the duration of the... Oh, we had four of these? When did I get four of these? Okay, I should have had them all in the same spot so it was more visible. So my thing lasted 13 seconds. So 13 seconds, you take 55% less damage. And uh, this thing attacks every two seconds. So yeah, you're not gonna survive, man. You're not gonna survive. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching. I don't oh, know, this was bronze. Yeah, this was literally my first run with this character ever. 
So that's why I didn't know about the runes, by the way. Classic case of the game is not even out and nobody is uploading videos because after the, at the time of the recording, the game is still in embargo and I just am pre-recording these to showcase you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed. As always, thanks for watching and see you guys around.